uh, video I'm going to show you how to set up the Micro Purge QED model MP50 compressor controller. Um, I found out the hard way that not all of the MPs models have compressors in them. For example, the MP10, uh, if you are wondering, does not have a compressor. Um, so you will need to make sure you get something like a well wizard to compress the air. So this is the MP50 setup. This is the controller part. Okay. Um, this area over here, this is the compressor. Um, it's got a fan. If this fan is not operating and it's too hot outside, um, it's possible either you have your positive and negative terminals on your car battery set up wrong. Um, sometimes if you flip flop them, this will run, won't run at all. Or it may run for a little bit and then it'll stop working and then the compressor, if it's too hot, will overheat. So just make sure that you're paying attention um, to that. So we have our air hose here. Um, I'm going to snap this end into the air out valve. On this particular one, we are not needing the air in. And uh, for the setup that I have, I'm not going to be using the control port either. So I just want the air out. And this other little valve, it actually has a, um, a converter. I do not need this one, so I'm going to take this out. So now I just down to have that. And that's really the only one that I need. So. Uh, this particular piece, um, I they get tend to get lost, uh, as you see, they can fall down. So I like to put them back up in here um, if they have them, or you want to put them somewhere safe so that those don't get lost. Next, you want to take your battery cables and unwind those. They're pretty long. Sometimes you don't need the whole length, but does make it a little easier to get everything. Okay. Black is for negative. Red is for positive. Kind of just like your jumper cables for your personal vehicle that you may have at home. Okay, you want to take it up to your vehicle battery terminals. Now, on mine, my positive is on the left side and the negative is on the right. Just with, like with car batteries, you always want to hook up the negative side first and attach it in. And then you attach in the positive side. Okay. So there's my battery hookup. And we come back down here and as you can see the fan is running. That's how you know that you have it hooked up right. Um, okay. Next, you want to check your pressure. Uh, if you are doing shallower wells, you don't necessarily need 40 PSI. Um, sometimes you can get away with 20 PSI, maybe even less, on a, if they're a shorter well, like less than 10 feet. This one's pretty deep, so uh, we're going to probably leave it about there and see. But if you do need to change it, you can always pull this little button up. If you pull it up, you'll hear it pop. And then you can turn it left to have it go down. So you see how the arrow is going down there. Or you turn it right to crank the PSI up. And then when you're done, you want to press it down until it snaps. Okay, now we want to take our air hose. And we are going to hook our air hose up to our... This is a QED well, a uh, permanent well that we have in place here. So we're going to pull it up, snap it in place. Should be in, you should hear a nice little snap. Okay. So this is my hose going out. This is where the air will go in here, uh, go down to the pump, and it's going to force the water back out this tubing. This tubing goes all the way down, and this is what I was describing in my other video. 
you've got the inflow of water from the pump. It's going to fill this up and it's going to come out this other tubing that I have here, which I have this tubing over in my bucket so that we can collect up the water and see exactly how much we're taking out um, when we purge this well. So there is the setup that we've got there so you can kind of kind of see we've got our setup on the well. So now to turn on get some air um, as you can see we have some buttons here one that says start and stop or cycle you want to press that You can see that the numbers are moving there. It means that it is cycling through. This little red button, when it comes up, that means that it's actually got air pressure coming out. If you don't see that coming up, then your compressor is not working. As you can see, it came up again. So what we're getting here is we're getting four cycles per minute. You can adjust how many cycles you want by adjusting your CPM, uh, that is cycles per minute. So as you can see, as you press it, it goes up, we can get five, all the way up to six cycles, or we can get as few as one. Um, so there's your cycles, we'll put it back up on four, and I am not going to change any of my discharge at this point in time. That's actually where I want it. But if you do need to change your discharge rate, that's what the up and down buttons are for. Alrighty. So this is where where we are. That's how you get it started with your QED uh, MP50. Every so often, though, you probably will want to press this little valve off here on the side of your air release. Um, sometimes it gets condensation built up in there. So if you press that, uh, that'll just help keep everything from, that'll keep everything running, keep water from getting backed up in your compressor So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye.